Hello everyone and welcome back to this inventory system series. Uh, it's been a while since we've touched this project um, but I wanted to go in and show you how to do a query inventory function for this system. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So for the query inventory you first of all need to go to your inventory component and we're going to create a function and call it query inventory. And with query inventory, we're going to want to query a particular item and how many of the item we want to check. And we're going to go through our content array of slots and find and count up how much we have of that item. Okay. And we can then compare it. So we need to, uh, first of all, take out our content folder, uh, content array, sorry, and do a for each loop. And we're going to break this open to get a different item ID and quantity out. And as I said, on the query inventory, we need to compare this with our own item ID to compare it with. And a quantity we're searching for as well. The quantity will be an integer. And we'll set a default value of here of 1. So whenever you do call this function, it's going to first of all just check do you have any of this item, basically. Um, the output for this is going to output a Boolean, whether it was successful in finding it. So um, found. Uh, no, we'll, do, we'll just call it success. And anything else you want to output as well. So we're going to output the amount we have found. So that might be quite useful. Quantity. Can't type. Make it quantity. Oh no. Uh, I do out quantity. Out quantity. There you go. Um, you may also want to return what slot index that it had. Maybe I don't know. But then it could be actually no. We won't do that because it, you may want to like combine st uh, stacks together, for example. Uh, we should leave it like this. Actually, that might be the best way of doing it. Okay, so we need to go through each one, find the matching item ID, and count up the quantity. So item ID. We're going to search for item ID. And if that is equal to this item ID, we're going to keep a running total of the quantity we have in here. So we're going to do add. And I can promote that to a local variable and do running total. And then set that back to running total up here. So running total starts at zero. Then goes up to, so we've got five of them, adds five onto it, and it keeps going around until it finds all the stacks of those items. Once it's finished doing that whole for each loop and completed here, we're going to drag down to our return node. And the success is going to be whether or not it actually found the item and it was more than the quantity. So, first of all, we're going to take the running title out and say, is this number greater, uh, greater than or equal to, sorry, rather, greater than. Or equal to this quantity value. So I'll just search for it by doing quantity. And that there. And then that'll go into that success there. And the out quantity here would be the running total. Now it makes sense as well. <clears throat> for query inventory, you could do it as a pure function if you want. Um, totally up to you. By making it a pure function means you're going to get a most accurate response from your content as you're checking this thing out. So if I was to go to, um, I don't know, let's go to my player character here. Um, and go in here and we'll just say we push the one key. We're going to do inventory system query inventory and I'll get these values I can type in now and I want to pick the item ID I want to use so let's go to our inventory some data and we'll do apple zero or just apple sorry so apple and the quantity I'm looking for is going to be two okay and I'm going to do a print string on that 
of the success. Okay. So if I go back to the game now and hit one. Oh, I've got one set of something else. Hold on. Let me change this to a different number. Uh, do, 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 do. Change that to two. There you go. Okay, so I change it to two. It says full. So I haven't got any apples in my inventory. So I've pick up one apple, push it again, still says false. Pick up another apple, and now says true. And I can now check my inventory of how, like, do I have the right item? So if you want to do like a lock and key system where you need a certain key or certain item to proceed, you can use the query inventory to solve that problem. And also useful for anything like quests or objectives that you need to check whether the player has collected a certain amount of number of items. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's how you do query inventory. And there you go. That is our query inventory function. As I said, it's a very easy and very useful function to have um, as you can use it for quests, objectives, uh, locks and doors. Very useful thing to have in your inventory system. So thanks very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support the channel, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where a donation just $1 a month gets you access to all my videos early before anyone else. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.